Clean Kicks 973, we back at it again. Today I got for you something I did in the past that I want to bring back. Um, once again, this is Black Mama underscore 8, the man behind the lenses. I want to do a legit check on these. Um, I'll just show you a video, a couple pointers I have on what to see when you're looking to see if you're getting a real pair or not, or not pair, because these are very expensive. Like These are going for about 1800 to two to 2500 but I just want to kind of give you my own ideas on what are the key points I look for when I buy a pair of Easy Boost 350 Turner Dove. So the number one thing I always go for is start with the pattern going down. You can see the way it's done, the shape is going in a downward motion towards the toe. That's for your first, any color black um, thread, then most likely it's not real. Um, also, always had to check the, the shoot, the sock lining. It's light, it's like a light cream color. It's not white, it's not gray. Um, one another thing you all do is look at the inside, turn it up, it's indented. It's kind of a little bit darker, it's indented on this side, and the Yeezy is the same thing as well. There's a lot that goes into the shoe, I think. Throughout the year or two since these, the year or so these been out, there's been so many new developments just to figure out like what's real, what's not, because not gonna lie to you, they're getting better and better at making reels, and making fakes, I mean, I'm sorry, and making fake pairs. <clears throat> but for me, what I always do is like, my first thing is, like you can see in the box, there's nothing, it just says, I'm going through it quickly, but like this says Yeezy, and it says, Boost 350, some of them say a lot different thing, differently, some of them have different things on it. I got this pair from Kicks USA, so it's a legit retailer of Adidas, so you know that this was a exact pair I got from there. Um, the box is one of the easiest tells now. Now there's, there's even better ways to tell. Like if you look at it, there's going to be close-ups of this. Um, everything in here is lined up. Lined up directly, like lined up perfectly. Like it should not be one move this way and one another way. Like it should all be lined up. Like if you put it right next, it should be all straight on that line. Um, <clears throat> you can see EAN. Don't be afraid when you see EAN because EAN means just it means it's a European release. UPC is a is a um, America release. Um, always what you gotta do is make sure that that UPC on the box or the EAN on the box matches matches the the UPC inside the shoe as well um that is that's an easy way to automatically tell which was not if it's not matching I mean that's that's a question to raise that's something that you have to ask another thing another tip I learned the other day actually like this on Instagram and I saw from um, Yeezy Buster Instagram Yeezy Buster um and they be out here exposing people for it but like you look at the box, the one should have a line at the bottom of the one. I'll give you a close up look at the one, uh, the picture of the one so you can see. But it should have a, a, a bottom at the, it should have a one with a line at the bottom. That's another way to tell that it, it does not. And best way, best way to really tell. Also, we had to check for the soles on the turtle does. It's a black, all black sole on the, um, on the Oxitans was a white sole. It says Adidas Yeezys on there. You can probably see it closer. And then on the inside, you'll see the stitching as well. So check on the bottom, like on the bottom, in the boost. Like I always like to do, I like to test the boost out, make sure you know it's a good little boost in there. And then you got two dots, two dots, and then a dot at the top as well. That's kind of like customary in all the um, Yeezy Boost 350s. But yeah, just you know, like I always say, be careful. Like, um, do your research before you spend a lot of money on, on these shoes. Like, you don't want to be spending 1700 1800 on these shoes and then come to find out to be fake and then you can't get the money back. Um, try to always go through eBay or PayPal. Make sure that your PayPal protected because when your PayPal protected, you'll be able to like contact eBay and let them know like, hey, these are not the shoe I, I asked for. Um, and they'll be able to get your money back in a timely fashion. Also, um, now that PayPal is very integrated with um, Kixify, that's another one too as well. So you could go on there and you'll get your money back because it's happened to us before where we bought a pair of sneakers from um, Kixify and then the, the guy sent us an envelope instead of even a box. Like they even had the, even the courtesy to send us a box. They sent us an envelope out there. But yeah, just be careful out there. Clean Kicks 973. Stay tuned for more videos.